You have shown a great deal of remorse for your actions. But the fact remains that you went to extraordinary lengths to gain access to your victim's personal and private life. I just wanted her to like me. Mr. Dingle. If you interrupt again, you will be removed from the court while I pass sentence. Is that clear? Sorry. Not only did you plant tracking software on your victim's phone, you invaded her privacy and you physically restrained her, causing untold psychological effects for years to come. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. It's with that in mind that I have no choice but to sentence you to a three-month custodial sentence. No, hang on, wait. Surely you mean suspended. I mean, you can't send him down for this. The sentence has been passed. Please, escort the prisoner to the holding cells. some wine. Maybe it'll take the edge off. <laughs> the edge? Yeah, sure. Someone gets sent down for three months and... Ah, oh, a bit of wine. That's gonna help, isn't it? Wait, hang on. He got sent down. I mean, I know he had to be punished, but I really hope that... We all did, Sarah. We all knew this was gonna be a possibility. Maybe if he hadn't been physical with her. I don't know. <sighs> He's just seeing that look on his face. I mean, I just wanted to get hold of him and I... I couldn't. There's nothing I could do. This isn't your fault. I'm not blaming myself. I just wish I'd done things differently, OK? Maybe... Maybe not giving the laptop to the police for a start. We have been through this. No one needs to take responsibility for his actions. Max's right. Look, I know it seems like the worst, but he did kind of bring it on himself. Oh, well, that's fine, then. I'll just sit here and try not to picture all the horrible things that might happen while he's inside, cos, let's face it, he deserves it. 